welcome again now that you know how to insert sections on one note today we are going to look at how to create subsections and also how to create sub pages remember that after you created a notebook like i have now here you don't have sections yet so in case if maybe you go and try to insert something from the tools you will see that they are not active all the ribbons on the tools is because you don't have any sections so once you have a section you will see that the tools will work even when i click home they are not active the tools but if i insert a section and i go to insert you see now they are active to show that i have a place where i can insert anything using these tools so i'm just going to look at this new section that i've created created and then i will give it a name so if maybe i'm going to name this section and then call it like i always do middle back and then i will just go and create another one and call it with bank and then another section and call it cn matlangu and then you know these sections as you name them they come with different colors so that you are not confused or make a mistake once you start working inside of them so i will name them according to different names as they are you see them now so i will just put the last one there and then there we go i've got all my sections so i'm expecting all my tools to be active because i have like more than one section so all these sections they are standing on their own as you see them one by one so if i decide to put them together then they will be under what we call a section group but if you are still struggling to do the basics on one note please refer to part one part two and part three of one note uh, using the links that I've, i will put below this video all right so now here i'm going to include a group and group all these sections together but before i do i do that i can go to middle back and then inside middle back i can show you from the tool insert some of the things that you need to take uh, in consideration into consideration so the first one we know already is to create a table i'm not going to look at that if you want to check about it go and find the part one to part three as i have said and then now i'm going to show you how to extract or take out information from a file that is already saved in your documents and put it here this is different from copying or attaching a file as it is but you are going to uh, take out all the information from a document and put it here as if you have typed it yourself don't forget to click subscribe there at the bottom click like and share the video so that it can reach those who need to learn about OneNote. now when i click here where it says page print out it's not printing it's not like i want to print from the printer because when i click here it will take me to my documents where i have to find a file that will contain information that i want to take out and uh, put on my section or my page of one note so if i go to documents and scroll to find any microsoft Word document i will see that maybe i can find a typed document somewhere uh, scrolling up and down okay let me find something that was saved somewhere uh, okay i'm going to click this one of saying convert and then when i click insert you will see that it will show that is extracting and converting and then populating all the information on my one note so all this comes from that page that is why i said it's not like you're printing on the printer but you're actually taking out what was inside this file convert and putting it 
as part of your text on OneNote. So if I click the text here, you can see that now it is surrounded by a border that we all know on OneNote, which you can actually move to any place that you want to move it to, like as we do with other information that we put here on OneNote. So if I'm going to group all this together, let me go back to insert. All right. Okay. Now, if I want to group with bank to Vatrafal Boven, all these sections, if I want to group them together, I will have to create a section group. So I right click here where there is nothing, right click and go to new section group. So you will see it will create a new section group and the section is actually different from others because this one will become a group. And then here maybe I can change it and give it a name and say campuses. So all these campuses that we have here, I want them to be inside this as a group. So how do I move them here? I go and hold and drag them to be on top of this. So it has moved, then I drop. Then it moves, then I drop, just like that, and I drag and drop. So it means all those four campuses now they are inside this one. Middle bag is standing on its own. How do I see them back? I click on this, then they come out. If I want to go back or go out of this group, because this is a group, I'm inside a group. If, if I want to go out of this group, I click this arrow. That says navigate to parent section group. When I click there, you see I'm out. Now I see the group outside here. And then I see the middle bag, which is not inside this group yet. Okay. So now I've got a page here called convert. I want to create another page below here and name it. Uh, maybe I can say modify. Okay. So I'm just going to go to add page and then I will name this page modify. So after typing modify, you will see that it's a new page there. So this modify, I want it to be a sub page of convert. It means now it must be showing that it is under convert. Uh, it is falling under convert. All right. So what I do, I right click on modify, then I go to where it says make sub page. When I click there, you will see that it moves a little bit to the right so that it shows that it is falling under convert. All right. So because if I add another one now, it will not be under convert. As you see that this one is not moving to the right. It is remaining straight with convert. Okay. So maybe this one, I call it NS fast okay maybe the name will be ns fast there so you see the difference between this and this is because this is the main page this is the sub page this is the main page again i can create another one here below and call it a sub page so now if i rename this one maybe i call it um, i give it a name and saying accommodation So I want to make it a sub page. Remember, I will right click on it and click make sub page. So this is main page, sub page, main page, sub page. This is a group. If I want to go back, I click this and this one is a sub. It's a section which is standing on its own. OK. So now this is the main section which is having sub sections. This now, when I go back under middle back, I have a page which is having a sub page. I have another page here which is having a sub page, right? So that is how you create sub sections and group sections, pages, and also their sub pages. Thank you for watching. Please remember, click subscribe, click like share this content so that it can reach anyone who needs to learn about OneNote. Thank you for watching.